Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use image to image in a stable diffusion using this web UI that I showed you in the last video because I have received some comments of some of you saying that you have trouble, um, there's an error prompting you about the tensor sizes and you don't know how to solve it. So I'm going to show you how to use image to image. Before that, if someone is new to this video and has not watched the previous video, when I explained you how you can use stable diffusion for free in your own laptop without you having a GPU, you can see that in the description. But as a quick reminder, there's this notebook that is also linked in the description, which you have to run this first two cells. You have to give permissions to it to connect to your Google Drive. Then you need to access this also page that is also in the description. You need to download this model that will run in stable diffusion and you need to store this model in this folder ai models that will be created for you when you run these first two cells and once you have this model uploaded in this folder in google drive you can just run the last cell the number three and you can access this second link right here running on public url and you will get a new tab where the stable diffusion will show up okay so now you're here what we did last day was just saying like some prompts here, has fun, fantasy car. And we show that in a couple of seconds, maybe less 20 or less than 20, we will get a created image for us uh, following our prompt. Okay, so let's wait just to for completion. So we can see what we really created. Let's see if that's interesting. It's like a fantasy car, okay, whatever. You can tune the prom using digital art or some, whatever you like, and you can get different images. So the problem is that in image to image is really interesting because it let us upload an image by us, maybe for ourselves, and we can just tune with a prompt and get a resulting other image, okay? So for instance, this is the default image that we have in image to image in cell diffusion and when we click in generate we get this error that is related to if you want to the here it's related to the tensor size is not uh okay oh, sorry this is the prompt and tell me okay so now we will get the proper error that would say that size of tensor must match the size of tensor b so we don't have matching tensor that is because of the resolution of the image the width and the height. Okay, so here we can see it said that 512, 512. This is not obviously not a 512 by 512 image. So what's that? That means that we have to just change this resolution back down here to the one we desire. Okay. So for instance, uh, one way you can do that is as you can see here the this is not we cannot choose an exact number we cannot say 500 there's no way this default redefined ranges of resolution okay so what we need to do is to create an image that follows this kind of resolutions to do so the best way is to just uh do it with photoshop or whatever editing software you want to use but if you are like me that you don't have those you can just go to Paint as is by default in Windows. And as you can see here, be down below, we have the resolution of their painting. So, what you have to do is go to File, Properties, and you have to set here the resolution for whatever you want. And now you can just paint here your drawings or whatever. You can color it how you like it, whatever. And then you can save that image and upload it to stable diffusion, image to image, and generate the new one. So for instance, for you guys, I just drew a picture about, let's say, about a house here, just very funny looking house, yes. I'm a major in art, as you can see. So we'll just do a fantasy castle know, with fire. Fire, I don't know, maybe that's. As you can see, this is a 512, like 512. The resolution is exactly set to the one we uploaded the image, so there is no problem in that. And we are generating this image. Okay, so whoa, as you can see here, this is what it's created from my image. It's created just a castle with some fire, with a tree that now is like a lighthouse or something like that. 
So yeah, this is what image to image will do and how you can use that. So I would love to know you, what you guys use as a prompts. Maybe you can share with us in the script, in the comments, the image you have generated, which are the prompts you use. And so this is more like one more, more like the one I have created. So maybe you can send to us what you have, what are your prompts you use, and let me know in the description if you have more problems that I can help you troubleshoot. I will be glad to respond all of you. So see you guys in the next video. And hope you guys found it helpful.